<laughs> Are you ready for an awakening tonight? Sounds like some of you are ready for an awakening, but I want to ask everyone, are you ready for a revival, for an awakening, to fight for the soul of America? You will be in for an amazing experience that begins tonight and goes on through tomorrow, Saturday, from 9 to 5.30, right back here. You will have an amazing array of speakers from around the country and music that will lift up the Lord, that will educate you, inspire you, and help you to realize there's still a God on the throne and with him nothing is impossible. You know, we have in this country a spiritual collapse that's going on. And the tragedies that we are even witnessing today in Boston, Massachusetts, with a manhunt with someone who is a suspected terrorist that did an unthinkable act to randomly and callously kill and maim innocent people who were celebrating life. That is simply a revelation of the spiritual decay that we're going through. And all of the other issues that we're facing, whether it's Sandy Hook or the shooting in the mall in Oregon, or whatever it might be, the political rancor that's taking place in Washington, D.C., it is an attack on the very values that ultimately undergird America. And what we're wanting to come together for tonight is to have as our theme, fighting for the soul of America. Because I think as I travel around the country, more than any other time in my life, I meet individuals that are wondering what is the future of this country? Will it really survive? Will America continue to last? Is that shining city on a hill going to continue to be that shining city on a hill? And if we fall, the rest of the world will fall. In some respects, other parts of the world are going in a different direction, seeking and searching for God. And in this country, we're pretending like he doesn't exist. And we're seeing that play out in the political arena as well. So what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to celebrate our faith and our freedom. The Awakening 2013 is about the great awakening of America and the great awakenings that happen around the world and the American Revolution. It is the marrying of the great awakening with the American Revolution. It is putting God and country. It is faith and freedom. It's not either or, it's both. Those are the foundations that ultimately made America what it is. It was those spiritual foundations that we experienced in the great awakening. That there is a God and that God created us in his image and that God infused us with certain unalienable rights among which are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That these liberties are known to people simply by virtue of the fact that we are created in his image and that government has the obligation to protect those God-given liberties. It is the great awakening that influenced the Declaration of Independence. And it is the great awakening that ultimately gave the foundation on which we later had the American Revolution. And so that's what we want to celebrate tonight, the marrying of the great awakening with the American Revolution, faith with freedom, God and country. And we want to fight for the soul of America because like no other time in our lives, the future of this country and our foundational fundamental freedoms are at stake. And that's what we're going to be focusing on this evening and throughout tomorrow as well. Let me tell you how it's gonna to be tonight. Tonight we're gonna to continue with our wonderful music that you're going to literally be blessed by. We have people that have come from around the country. We have an individual who will have an amazing Star Spangled Banner to kick us off. I'll introduce him in a few moments. But we also have speakers that will literally, I think, bring the roof down. You're gonna hear from Sam Rodriguez. You're gonna hear from another group of panelists. You're gonna hear from someone who looked at the American dream through the eyes of a young boy behind the Iron Curtain and what it was like to be there and what he sees here now. We have others as well, Dr. Richard Land, Jan Morgan, and others that will be speaking tonight. Tomorrow we start at nine o'clock, right back here. And we have an amazing morning. We have Congresswoman Michelle Bachman that will be speaking here with us. She actually was in London 
uh, for the funeral of Margaret Thatcher, our own... And she's uh, on her way back and she will be here with us tomorrow. We have Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar that will be with us as well. And they are part of, and, and, and they actually have a cult following for some of you who have never watched their TV program. It's called 19 Kids and Counting. And they have actually 19 natural born kids and counting. And uh, they will be here tonight and they'll also be here tomorrow and they'll be uh, speaking with uh, us and they'll also be on a panel as well. And we have a lot of other speakers. You can see them in the program. We have a lot of biographical information at the back of this program as well. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on the introductions because they're already in those programs. I wanna spend most of our time on educating around our shared core values. And those shared core values, they don't know race. They're not bound by ethnicity. They don't know generational lines or gender lines. Those shared core values are for men and women, for red, yellow, black, and white, and brown, for young and old, for whatever ethnicity you are, those shared core values are the values that bring us together. And we're gonna be talking about those shared core values across those lines that we often build up. And we will have an amazing time. I uh, just pray that as uh, you're here, uh, you do a couple of things. Number one, that you go away with something you didn't learn before. Not only that, that you go away inspired, that you go away and not looking at the world with gloom and doom, because there is a God who still sits on the throne, and with him, nothing, let me say that again, nothing is impossible. And God birthed us for this moment in history. His people have gone through other tumultuous times in history. So it's not new for him. Maybe new for us. But God birthed us for this moment in history. And rather than get discouraged by what's going on, I in fact get encouraged because I know as soon as I see adversity coming about, look out for God because God will give incredible opportunity for those who want to make a difference. And I know that's why you're here. So I hope that you're inspired when you leave. Couple of things. If you want to download an app that has all of the agenda and the speakers and the biographical information, you can type in your browser on your cell phone, freedomfederation.mobi, M-O-B-I, freedomfederation.mobi, M-O-B-I. It'll download an app. You can put that on your smartphone and you'll have the entire agenda, the rooms, the speakers, the breakouts, all of that on your smartphone. So it's freedomfederation.mobi, M-O-B-I. The other thing is, for those who are tweeting, the hashtag is pound awakening 2013. So if you wanna tweet about the speakers or the event, it's pound sign awakening 2013, no space, just pound awakening 2013. So whatever you tweet about, make sure you put that in there in your tweet so that other people can understand what's coming on as well. Come back tomorrow with additional friends and, and family because it's gonna be an amazing time. I want to first, uh, before we uh, begin, I want to dedicate our time with prayer, and I want to bring up Pastor Dwayne Mercer. He is the pastor of this great church, First Baptist of Vito. He and his wife, Pam, have served here since 1993. He is the former president of the Southern Baptist Convention here in Florida. He's an active board member on a number of panels, and he is uh, someone who is a uh, dear friend of all of us. His uh, church and your people have been extraordinarily uh, well and pleasing to work with. So thank you for opening up your facility to us. Thank you for, uh, for leading this congregation. God bless you. Well, before we begin in a word of prayer, let's uh, just recognize Liberty Council and for all they do, and let's give them a round of applause, all right? Well worth it. And... Uh, we welcome you to our church campus and let's bow in a word of prayer and ask God to uh, do a great work among us um, this weekend. Father, we come to you in prayer in the name of Jesus and Lord, we know that we love you and we know you love us and you know, we know that you love America and we thank you, Lord, so much for 
what America has meant to the rest of the world as far as sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. And God, we thank you so much for Liberty Council, for protecting those, for going to de the defense of those who are oftentimes defenseless in matters of constitutional rights. Thank you, Lord, that they protect, help protect those rights. And Lord, I pray that your blessings will be upon this conference. God, we have clarity of purpose. And God, I pray that you would inspire us as we endeavor to hear these great speakers and what they have to bring to us this weekend. And God, I pray that we would just continue to lift up America, that we would be able to enjoy the freedoms, continue to enjoy the freedoms that we enjoy now, especially the one about freedom of speech as we share the gospel of Jesus Christ with all those around us. And we'll pray it all in Jesus' name. Amen.